Okay, um, I'm gonna do this again. I'm I'm too lazy to write a script, and uh, I'm too lazy to edit right now. I'm it's it's about 9:30. I got home about 20 minutes ago, and I'm a little bit exhausted and worn out, and uh, I I just want to sit down, surf the internet a little bit, and then kind of zone out or something. Uh, maybe I'll get to the, the grow box project tonight. I do have to wake up early tomorrow to see one of my doctors. Um, then I have to have somebody come in the house tomorrow and make sure that all of our sprinklers are not leaking, leaking in the apartment or the units. So apparently somebody has a leaky sprinkler has not reported it for months and we kept getting threats that somebody was going to come in and look at our sprinklers and tomorrow is the day for me for them to take a look and say oh I don't see any problems here thanks They're like, yeah I wish you would have believed me when I said there was nothing um anyway so that's gonna be fun tomorrow which means I have to clean up the house still uh, I don't want to clean um, i trying to think. The plants seem to be growing a lot better. And I don't know if that's because I clipped the basil two days ago. Two days ago. Um, the smaller plant, the smaller basil plants have grown, which are kind of expected. I guess they were competing with, uh, with the root system, maybe. But what really gets me is the... I just figured it out, I think. Because what was really getting me is why the other two two plants were doing really great in the past few days. Because my lemon balm has just skyrocketed. It's doubled in size for the past two days. And the thyme has also skyrocketed. And I think, I think I know why. I just figured it out. And I'll show it to you. All right. So here's the lemon balm. Here's all the little basil plants. This is the tall one up here. And this guy's not branching yet. And then here's all my thyme. And this guy is like, it's a really tall guy there. Um, I think it's this. I couldn't, I couldn't really figure it out, but I think that's what it is. I added that foil uh, as part of like, because originally I thought, I saw the basil was kind of blocking out one of the plants. And so I actually swapped the basil with the uh, lemon balm because I figured that would help because the um, the basil, it seemed to need the light the most, but I figured I'd put it in the middle so that we get twice the light instead of being on the edge reaching towards one and bending over. But I think that foil is the answer. Because the light's not being absorbed by the paint on the wall anymore. I I didn't think it would make that much of a difference, though. So, I, I just took um, some moving boxes, some spray glue, and some aluminum foil. And just pretty much made an aluminum foil box mirror thing. Um, so, yeah, that... That's made a, that, that's, that's significant. I, okay. <laughs> I, I just did it because I was like, oh, well, plants like light. I didn't know they liked them that much. Um, at least I think that's what it is. <sighs> so that's good. Um, So I, my my interest is peaked into getting fish now, since I'm able I'm allowed to get fish. Apparently they don't qualify as pets, or at least the pets that my landlord doesn't like, because he said fish would be okay. And because I'm into the whole gardening thing right now, it, it does interest me in maybe figuring out figuring out how to make a closed system of some kind where the fish feed the plants and the plants feed the fish. But a lot of what I see on YouTube is kind of ugly to look at. And the stuff that's not ugly is crazy expensive 
intro level for kids and cute. Nothing real major. Uh, so it's just something I've been debating on uh, what, what I should do, really. Um, the other thing is... See, I know it's not really good to rationalize why I should spend money. But I've been considering maybe I should give myself some kind of entertainment budget of some kind. Uh, like the other day I was thinking maybe I should buy myself a tea kettle <laughs> because I like the, the tea. So I think I'm, I think I'm going to work out the budget and, um, start adding some discretionary spending just so that I'm not, uh, totally stuck with what I've got. Not that that's a bad thing. Um, but if I have a, a bit of a budget for non-discretionary spending, then I don't really have to be tempted to break the rules, if, if that makes any sense. Um, yeah, so it'd be easier to work within a budget if I have it available, rather than wishing I could buy something and be feeling bad if I do. Um, yeah, what else is there? I'm I'm still scheduled to pay off the car loan at the end, at the end of the month, but uh, sometimes the work has me concerned, and it's not just where I'm at now. It's always been where I've been at, and it feels so good to have a full month of living expenses at the beginning of the month available available and waiting for you. Um, So that, that's that's where I'm at. I'm trying to, you know, I, I like to prepare for things to, um, that could happen and just be aware and ready. The, the whole idea that I know what days everything's coming out. I wasn't surprised to get an email the other day that an annual bill was coming through. I already knew about it. Um, I mean... Having the foresight to look ahead is, it's almost like power over your own life. You, you expect things to happen. Um, it's nothing like reading somebody's mind and knowing what they're going to do before they do it. But it's almost like a comforting ease that you already know what to expect and when and how to deal with it. You already have a plan in place. And you have a backup plan for anything that may happen. Um, you know, that's the whole reason I have a savings account. And that, that can cover emergencies to a certain extent. Um, so I think I'm going to ramble if I keep going on about this. So uh, I am tired. I do have to prepare and clean up the house a little bit. And... Um, I got an early day tomorrow, so I was, I was thinking I could do the 3D printing stuff, but tomorrow is uh, Tech Talk Thursday, so things are kind of just blowing by. Uh, I was thinking if maybe I should do like a themed kind of thing for each day. Maybe on the weekends give a summary of what I've been doing throughout the week on a on the printer or the grow box project maybe have a certain day for blogs or vlogs or or whatnot another day would be just on savings and how i'm trying to save money and what my goals are so it's just something i've been uh considering i've seen other other people do something similar to that and uh it seems to be a going theme among many vloggers these days so maybe that would help me uh, know what to work towards on, a, on specific days. And it'd be easier because for each topic I'd have a whole week's worth of stuff to pull from specific to that topic. Maybe. Um, Alright, I'm just going to close with that, so goodbye.